Okay, let me have a look at that list. Guys, I tell you what, someone in Finland figured it out. It's all been done. You don't need Matt device, you don't need you don't need Lexia, you don't need any other device to do a full reset to do a full reset to 38 ampere hours and even 40 ampere hours is possible. I'll tell you all about it right now. Well guys, very exciting news, very exciting. Okay, so how this all works is someone in Finland found out he sent me he sent me why is this not? And explained he has found a method to reset the BMU without any interference of dealers, Mitsubishi or any MAT devices or any other thing you plug into your OBD port by simply disconnecting the 12 volt battery. Well, there's a little bit more to it. So I thought this is a different person to the one who was writing in the forum, but it's not. It turned out it's the same person. So I got in contact with him and I still don't know how he found out about this method. He said he was just listening to the car and then trying to make sense of all the sounds he heard from relays and contactors and how the charge starts when the star charge stopped and all this and all these sounds you hear in the car usually, you know. So what he figured out is so what you what you need to do is you, you drive your car until the battery is empty, disconnect the 12 volt battery in your car, just take the minus off. So you have to disconnect the 12 volt battery and leave it offline for at least two hours. We've got mixed feedback from other users. It might be even longer up to four or five or six hours. We are still in early stages of this. Um, I'll just tell you what we know right now. So it might be between two hours and six hours you need to have the 12 volt battery disconnected afterwards you plug in your car as usually nothing will happen because the 12 volt battery is disconnected and the charging cycle will not start you then reconnect the 12 volt battery only for a couple of seconds until you hear the cluck sound of the relays and contactors inside the car and in the EVSE you then disconnect the 12 volt battery again and leave it disconnected wait until the car has fully charged you can then disconnect the car from the charger and reconnect the 12 volt battery and i've asked him okay let's um let's put a name on this whole process now because this is a fairly easy to do do it yourself reset at home now initially we thought about something like a bmu counter reset bmu clear or something like this but in the meanwhile, forget about all that. In the meanwhile, people have already called this the Lindquist method. So this is now the official Lindquist method where you can just reset your uh, BMU back to 38 ampere hours. So here comes the funny story now. Accidentally, accidentally, one of our guys here, his 12 volt battery broke down the day before yesterday. So it went flat down to 8 volts, couldn't start the car anymore, was totally dead, nothing worked anymore. So he bought a new battery, put the new battery back in, started the car, and oh wonder, it was on 38 ampere hours. So accidentally he did this Lindquist method by having a 12 volt battery in his car which was totally dead. Apparently this somehow discharges the battery back up, the capacitor, the energy source for the BMU and it resets all the values. The outcome is not much different to when the dealer does the reset on your BMU. It wipes all the information of age of the battery, of sum of charged and discharged ampere hours. It, it wipes all this and yeah, it, it shows you 60 days of battery age afterwards and it, it resets the whole BMU situation as we have seen it many times before when these cars went to dealerships and they did a proper, a proper mud reset on the car. EV range is fully restored. The same with the car with a dead battery, fully restored. 
went up from 30 ampere hours to 38 ampere hours now has got the full what is there so all the cars have have restored the full ev range now i was in contact with someone in germany just this morning and he confirmed also he done it a little bit different and he got the car to 40 ampere hours back so the dog shows him now 40 ampere hours full capacity full ev range he bought a 2013 model in the Netherlands and now it's back to 40 ampere hours, full capacity, full EV range restored. The only thing he did differently was when once the car was fully charged, he did not unplug the car, but left it in for another eight hours with the 12 volt battery disconnected. And apparently for some reason, this got him the 40 ampere hours back. So as you can see, there are still some some variations in all these stories we hear from other people. Don't probably do it right now. Just do it. Just just figure it out yourself. You will see there are some. If it doesn't work, just do it again. Try the battery empty and then wait just longer. We don't know yet exactly what the trigger point is to get 40 amp hours instead of 38. Maybe it's the waiting time after the charge has finished and leave it plugged in for another six eight hours until you reconnect the battery all these little things need to be confirmed now but we have one two three four five or six people now having success with this method it didn't work for some guys but they didn't follow the procedure correctly they tried again and it worked for them afterwards we haven't tried a 2019 model yet Everything else from 2013 to 2018 works, confirmed by these guys. Yeah, we still need someone with a 2019 model. Okay guys, so we now have the Lindquist method out there, which seems to work just fine. And the good thing is this does not void your warranty because as we have seen in the case here, if you get a faulty 12 volt battery or you leave the light on and the battery is totally drained, well, this is just bad design by Mitsubishi. Everyone can do their own reset now. I'm not telling you to doing that. I'm telling you other people have done it. This is only what I'm reading on the forums. This is not my own experience. I'm not encouraging you to doing that. I encourage you always talk to your dealer first. And well, we have tried this method. I actually trust Mr. Lindquist a lot more than Mitsubishi. So it's up to you if you want to try it. Go ahead, try it. Leave your comments down below if you have success with it, if you have any questions. I'm sure Mr. Lindquist is watching this video and watching the comments down below. Maybe he's responding to you, helping you out. Um, apart from that, everything else is in the forums out there. You can participate there in discussions. It is exciting. All right, guys, so far this little unplugged EV lunch break again with exciting news. I'll um, have my lunch now and we see us later. The Lindquist method, it is what do you think about this whole situation now? I've got still mixed feelings. I'm I'm happy it's easy enough now to do your own reset at home and you don't have to rely, you don't have to beg at dealerships anymore. Please, please do a reset on my car. Please, I want my range back. Yeah, f that, you can just do it yourself. But then again, as I said before in my videos, it takes the pressure away from Mitsubishi. A lot of people will do their procedures at home now. They don't buy mud devices anymore, they just deplete, disconnect the 12 volt battery and do their own procedure. They don't need dealerships anymore. They don't need Mitsubishi anymore. And they won't lose warranty because this is clearly a bug in the whole system which Mr. Lindquist has discovered to reset the battery, to reset 
the battery stats to reset the BMU. There's nothing plugged into the car. It's only been done by depleting the 12 volt battery and this resets the BMU back to 38 or even 40 ampere hours. And I'm sure the same thing will work in the 2019 model as well. I am very sure it will work. Anyway, this is just what it is. <laughs> I told you a couple of days before. People will find out and they will use MAT devices. They will use, they will find other, other methods to reset this whole thing at home. And here we go. Two days later, here we are. Mr. Lindquist for president. <laughs> okay, guys, I guess that is it for the moment, <laughs> of course, only. Well, people have said a year ago, Andy, you're running out of ideas to put videos on your channel. You have tested everything already. You can't make any more. Everything has already been done and been shown. Well, again, here we are. One year later, still going strong. And there will be heaps and heaps more videos coming because this is just as the beginning. We don't know what happens to these cars. 2013, 2014 models when they constantly get BMU resets. You know, it is clearly not ideal for the battery if it's not being monitored and a little bit pampered, if it uses the full capacity all the time, even it has degraded a little bit. So there will be heaps more information coming in the future, maybe in the near future, maybe medium future, who knows. But this is clearly not the end. I know Gary, some people said Gary Reed has now resigned from the PHEV topic from the stories and he said on his channel he has tested everything as well all the tests winter summer range tests efficiency tests economy tests towing tests everything has been tested and he's now doing other things which I like very much beautiful videos he's doing and I don't think like some people said he has given up on this whole topic now he's not He's not the guy who is giving up on something. Definitely not. Nobody is giving up. This is just the nature of the product. This is just the nature what people are doing right now. They are not asking dealerships anymore. They accidentally leave the lights on. So the BMU resets accidentally. What can you do? If this is the design of the car, use it, of course. All right, guys. Anyways, it will be interesting to see what is going on and how many people are doing this and what the outcome will be in the next couple of weeks. So stay tuned. It will be on this channel. All right, guys. So far, this video from today. Thank you all for watching. Thanks for your support. This is Andy from Unplugged TV Australia signing off. And you stay charged. And we will all see us again in the next video very soon. Alrighty, see you then. Bye bye.